Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. I've got another tank update for you here. This is just going to be a quick update just to show you where I am right now. I haven't posted one in a little bit, so I just want to get something out there. These are the tracks. I just finished putting the guide teeth on the inside. You can see there. Those are pretty much, that's both tracks there stacked on top of each other. Those are pretty much done now. All I really have to do is just reinforce the bottoms of the track pads for when they're actually running, something to take the wear against the ground. But I'll, I'll get around to that eventually. So then I'm back over here to the, the frame I've been working on. I decided to complete the truss there and put this angle iron on the top to just complete that. That'll make it significantly stronger. It does add a little bit more weight, but I, I think it's worth it. That should, that should work nicely, right? Like that. So then up here, what I've been working on is mounting these front idler wheels. That'll be on the front here. Up like that. And these are just going to be stationary. That's just for the track to go around and re, like, redirect it down to the bottom and up to the top. So how I've been doing this is what I've got is... Can, this like kind of piece of flat bar here. Now let me get one for a second. So what I have is one of these bars. Um, what I originally wanted to do is somehow use these holes that were already in it, but that wasn't going to end up working because they weren't big enough and they, it, it just wouldn't work. So what I just did is I cut this in half and I used this section here and just, I just milled out a slot. You can see in there, that's a 5 8 inch slot to go with this bolt. And this is so it can move back and forth to adjust the tension of the tracks because that's very important. Um, I've reinforced it at the top here with this piece of angle iron. And at the side here with this piece of rebar going down to the frame. That make, this makes all the difference right here. This makes it extremely strong. It's not going to move side to side. because this, when, this, when the track's on it, it's going to be wanting to pull it out this way. But with this on there, it's not going anywhere. So how this goes together then, I've got... This piece of all thread right here, five eighths of an inch. Uh, the, got these two nuts on there. Then I put a washer on like that, and then this will go in there. And on the other side of this piece, this bar, I put this other washer, and that's cut out at the top to allow room for this piece of angle iron because that that kind of blocks it a little bit and. I, doesn't give room for the full washer like this, so I had to cut that. That's the reason why it's like that. And then I'll put on a lock washer and then another nut to screw it on into place. So that's the, like the whole assembly there. And then the, the wheel just goes on over here like that. So when it's all assembled then, it'll look like this. Get closer to here. So you can see there's the inside, can move back and forth to adjust the tension like I said. Over here, that on. One thing I'm thinking about doing, the original plan was, was to have this nut and this nut welded to the piece of all thread. That would ensure that this, that whenever I adjusted it, that the, the wheel would always be the same distance out from the side of the side of the tank here. So that, so it would keep in line with the track the way it, it should be. So that's kind of where I am in this project right now. Um,
I still haven't got the materials I need to start work on the drive system. I want to do that as soon as I can really, but we'll see. So that's pretty much where I am right now. I just want to do a quick, quick update for you right here. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. And if you're just coming across this channel, this is one video in a longer series showing the construction of my 30% scale ISU-152, a Soviet World War II era tank destroyer. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos about the tank and other cool stuff.